Hi, my name is Sean Lawrence and today I have come to my friend Carla's house and together we would like to um, talk to you about our experiences having stem cell treatment with Swiss Medica uh, to help us with our multiple sclerosis um, diagnosis. My name is Carla Wallace-Clark, um, like Sean I'm an MS sufferer. Um, if you might hear Oscar in the background, our new puppy, which we've had since January after my stem cell therapy treatment. Back in December, we couldn't even entertain the fact of having a puppy and now we're enjoying him. When I found myself looking uh, for a clinic that could offer me this treatment with the stem cells, um, I soon found that there was absolutely nowhere in the UK, there was nothing um, that, would, that would help me. So I found myself looking abroad. Uh, there are many countries offering stem cells uh, with varying prices and slightly different procedures. Uh, the one that I opted for was with Swiss Medica. Um, I've always thought of Switzerland as being very much um, ahead of the times with medical practices and I felt very comfortable and um, decided that, that that was going to be for me. Well, I was diagnosed back in 2015, um, diagnosed in the April, and very quickly I went downhill. I was diagnosed with relapse remitting MS. Um, diagnosed in the April, by the August I was bedridden. By the time we returned from our holiday, I was literally confined to my bed. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't take my children to school. I couldn't do any of the ex ex um, extracurricular activities with them. I couldn't cook, cook for them. I couldn't look after them. I couldn't do any housework. Um, I couldn't do anything. I was good for nothing. Uh, the, the, the MS nurses and my neurologist said that um, I wasn't ill enough to be prescribed disease-modifying drugs, um, and I just had to look after myself. Um, we found this very hard to live with because MS has marred every aspect of my life, from my underwear, from the clothes that I wear, from the shoes that I had to wear, from the activities that I did, to the food that I ate. It marred absolutely every aspect of my life. Um, so it was causing a lot of distress. In the April, a documentary came on the TV about stem cell therapy and it was the only thing that sp gave a spark that raised, you know, a, a, gave it light at the end of the tunnel and I thought we could do this. Through family members we got to hear about Sean and Sean's experience and after seeing that documentary we set up a meeting for me to meet Sean and from then on it was, it was almost plain sailing without the... Um, the nervousness and the, the unknown going into the unknown, but it was always a light at the end of the tunnel. So having decided to go with Swiss Medica, uh, I then was advised by the uh, consultants to go to their Moscow clinic, who are specialists in neurological diseases. So once we met Sean and learned of his experiences, we realised that stem cell therapy was the only way forward for us. So Carla, who would have believed that to only 12 months ago we would have been sitting here today uh, talking about the things that we have? Isn't it just amazing? Sure, it's incredible. I'll be forever indebted to you, actually, because if it wasn't for your encouragement, I don't know where we'd be. I really don't know where we'd be. It's just been amazing. A dream come true. A real I, dream I, come I true. I think it's important for each of us to support each other and for other people uh, that have got the similar diseases, I think it's important to have that support, isn't it? Oh, oh, absolutely. And also to talk as well. It's important to talk. Sometimes talking is a therapy in itself, mm. but it also reminds you of what was, you know, what mm. has been and mm. what can be. And I am so excited. And also um, that you're not alone in how you feel. I yeah. think sometimes you think that it's only ever happening to you. Um, but it, it's it, it's actually it is relevant to a lot of people. It really is, and this. Do you know what? I used to think that it was in my head, mm. and so then I would try and do things, 
and end up falling over mm. because it wasn't in my head. It was actually real. This was really mm. happening, mm. you know. Uh, you know, incidences, tripping over a piece of string, um, you know, not making it to the loo in time, not being able to get out of bed and, and just getting out and collapsing on the floor. Mm. Mm. Just all these silly things that that happen and it's not just you. No. The amount of no. people that are suffering yeah. Yeah. and suffering unnecessarily because there is something there out is. there. There is. You know, there is. And I still don't understand why they didn't think I could have disease-modifying drugs, but you know what? They did me a favour. They did. They Def did me a de favour because this is so much better. I don't know how long it will last for. We don't know. But at the moment, it is fantastic I and think, I'm enjoying every day. I think, I, as you will probably agree with me, uh, to have a positive attitude is the way forward. Uh, when you have a, an off day, you have to rise above it and you have to look to tomorrow mm. and say, tomorrow, I'm going to make this better. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you, you're the same. <laughs> but I, I'm sure I we're, we're both very positive <laughs> people and that's why we're here, Carl. Or just plain stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carl, how are things with you now? absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant i can do things that back in december i couldn't imagine i mean we're talking two months ago i couldn't imagine i'm walking toby to school we've got the new puppy so i'm doing circuits in the garden i have seen more of my garden this past fortnight this past month that i had in two years i've seen bits that i've just not been able to get to because i couldn't make it i've been able to walk up and down the drive um it's been incredible. We couldn't have entertained, excuse me, a puppy back in December. And now I'm doing, I'm looking after a puppy, which is like looking after a newborn child. I'm swimming twice a week on top of that. I'm up to 22 lengths twice a week. December is at zero. So that is fantastic. For me, that's my achievement. In the next month, I'm planning to include yoga on top of that. The month, and also I'm going to be doing um, a walk for charity, 10,000 steps a day for cancer research. Wow. So that's me doing that. That's me being Fantastic. stubborn and, and not, not letting this MS get to me. Um, I'm also looking forward to doing family walks at Bickerton Hill and pub lunches again because it's not a problem on whether I'll make it round or whether I need a toilet stop halfway up the hill. You know, it's just incredible. And then we've booked a family holiday because we can. We didn't go on one last year because we, I just wasn't any good. But this year we're going sailing. Wow. So the last time we went sailing, I was below deck because I was wiped out. MS had knocked me for six. This time I'm going to be sailing that boat. Wow. I am so excited. <laughs> Life is exciting. Every day is a new day and I'm just so appreciative. Sean. Thank you again for giving me that kick up the backside to book that ticket and go. Go, it's Thank been a pleasure. You've done, it, you've done it yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me, what have you got planned for this year? Uh, we've, I, I'm hoping to go on holiday uh, and uh, just enjoy life. Just enjoy life. What about you? Well, we've just, as I said, we've got the new puppy. So daily walks. Um, I've started swimming. Next month, I plan to do yoga. Um, I'm also doing a yoga. Yoga, yes. Wow. I'm going to do a charity walk, 10,000 steps a day for cancer research. I'm planning well on done. doing that. Well done. Um, I'm looking forward to going on a family walk up Bickerton Hill, which is yeah. close by. Yeah. Um, we've booked a family holiday. We're going sailing. Wow. So, because the last time we went sailing, I was below deck because I was I was just wiped out. But this time, I'm going to be sailing that boat. You're going to be operating yes. that boat. Yes. So, um, so I'm really excited. I'm enjoying each day. And yes, you do get off days. Yeah. You do get off days. Yeah. You take it on the chin and think tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to be back I'm, I'm up there again. I'm going to make a difference. Yeah. Back yeah. up there again. It's it's excited. I just feel excited about life. I, and I am too. It's brilliant. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>